all about the Large Hadron Collider. The world's largest physics experiment is the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC has to be big so that it can accelerate protons to speeds over 99.99% the speed of light. Protons are one of the hadrons. Hadrons are made of quarks. Yeah, uh, it gets protons, hadrons, are, protons are type one of the hadrons, and it, it speeds them up and crashes them together. Protons, that's why it's a large hadron collider. Protons are UUD with their quarks. This means protons are made up of two up quarks and a down quark. Quarks and a down quark. Oh, that, that's got to change in there. That's an edit. Oops. Hadrons, may, hadrons are made of three quarks called... Hadrons made of three quarks are called baryons. Baryons. Neutrons are also baryons. Because neutrons are up, down, down. The most well-known hadrons are the baryons called protons and neutrons. Baryons. Uh, hadrons can also be made of a quark and an anti-quark, e.g. up, up, or up, up, anti, or down, anti, down. Hadrons made of a quark and an anti-quark are called mesons. Anti-quarks, antimatter is written with a superscript line. When an anti-proton meets an anti, meets a proton, they annihilate each other. All of their mass turns to energy using the formula equals mc squared. Bananas emit an antimatter electron, a positron, every 75 minutes, on average. Uh, draw a straight line with an arrow in the middle from P to the vertex dot. From P to the vertex dot. Okay, from P to the vertex dot. Okay, with an arrow in the middle. Okay, that's a proton going along in time. A proton is heading towards a crash. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, draw a straight line with a backward pointing arrow. Oh, backward pointing arrow means that it's a antiparticle. From anti-P to the vertex. Draw a wavy line from the vertex to gamma. Uh, this is called proton-antiproton pair annihilation. An antimatter electron is called a positron, E+. Plus. Draw, draw a Feynman diagram of E- minus and E+, plus pair annihilating. Okay, so E-, minus, E+, plus. this has got the arrow going backwards, this has got the arrow going forwards, they crunch into one another, and they annihilate, giving out lots of... Um, energy in the form of waves. The backward pointing arrow and the superscript line show that anti-proton is an anti-proton. Gamma is a photon of gamma radiation. Yeah, as a, that's radiation coming out. Uh, probably x-rays or gamma rays. Pair annihilation. Whoa, spelling! Uh, an A double N I H I L H I L and pair annihilation shows that mass can turn into energy. Yeah, equals M C squared. This also happens when uranium rocks are used to make energy in nuclear power stations. Yeah, well, they get the uranium rocks, they get the uranium out of the rocks by crushing the rocks and a bit of chemistry and stuff. The conservation of energy should now be called the conservation of energy and mass equals mc squared. On diagram C, okay, we can see diagram C. On diagram C, draw a straight line from E minus to the vertex. Okay, got it. 
with an arrow in the middle. Okay, well, it's it's a normal particle, and one from the E plus. Okay, that's got to change. E plus like that to the vertex. Okay, the backward pointing arrow. Okay with a backward pointing arrow to show that E plus is antimatter. Uh, it should be a little plus. Got to do some editing there. Antimatter. Connect the vertices with a wavy line. Okay, so a wavy line. You should not see the vertex dots in the diagram, final diagram. Oh yeah. The dots are just there to help you. Draw the lines for a beta and a positron. Uh, beta. That's the positron coming out. So I'm always pointing backwards. And there's a beta and a positron. Oh yeah, because beta is of course a fast moving electron. So that's there. That's the beta. Oh! Knocked it. So this is the beta. And a positron being produced. Excellent. Feynman diagram. Feynman diagram is electron positron annihilation followed by pair production. I think it should have the word this in there. Okay. Draw a proton antiproton annihilation followed by pair production. Okay. Proton anti-proton, anti-proton, arrow backwards, proton, arrow forwards. They crash making gamma radiation or something. Not a particularly good wave there. And then, and so this is time going along this axis. Um, and, th and that's produced an anti-proton and a proton again. Hey, pair production. All right, where were we? Oh yeah, particles are drawn with straight lines. Where three lines meet is a vertex. Uh, one, two, three lines meet. That's the vertex. That's another vertex. Uh, at a vertex, there are two particles and an exchange particle. Two particles and an exchange particle. Yeah. Time is from left to right. Old books draw Feynman diagrams. Feynman diagrams with time being from up to down to up, but this was confusing. Antiparticles have arrows pointing back in time. Yes. The joke was antiparticles move backwards in time. No. It is just an arrow drawn on a line, so the diagram so the diagram So the diagram shows which particles are antiparticles. Cool. There is one arrow pointing at the vertex and one pointing away. Cool. For beta particle emitting a photon, draw straight draw a straight line with an arrow in the middle to the vertex from E minus. Okay. So there, there's a beta particle, fast moving electron. And out again to E minus. Okay. Draw a wavy line to gamma from the vertex. Make sure the vertex dots disappear. Okay. Right. Uh, this is a beta particle emitting a photon. So it must be slowing down. Draw a proton emitting a photon. Okay. Proton, uh, which is plus its normal matter. Proton plus emitting. Could be up or down. Gamma. Okay. Cool. Neutrons. Uh, oh, neutrons. Oh, neutrons, neutrons, neutrons. They're up, up, down. Nah. Up, down, down. And protons. That should be an S. Oh, editing. Up, up, down are both baryons because they have three quarks. Neutrons and protons have a baryon number of one. Neutrons and protons are both hadrons because they are made up of quarks. 
Go! Press like, press subscribe. Wow, that was hard work. <laughs> There's my card. If your mum or your dad wants me help out with your GCSEs, IBs, HSCs, SATs, uh, then they should contact me at goodluckgaryhk at gmail.com. If you live in Hong Kong after I do the schools, because I work in the schools, then I can come to your home and do home tutoring. Otherwise, I do Skype lessons. Bye!